Hey what's going on guys, my name is Brad, welcome back to the channel, go back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns video. Today we got some brand new news and information regarding the main character Yusaku Fujiki and his VR form and also his backstory which is really really interesting to see. So last week we had this key art released for the new anime, however we didn't get to see the whole image because it was uh, spoiled by text, but now we have a nice clear look at Yusaku's VR outfit as well as the dual board he'll be riding on in the VR wind I believe that's what it's called. Um, that's the like, platform system they use to duel within the VR world. And it looks pretty good. It kind of reminds me of a, a police car. You know, with the, the red and blue and the white and black. I don't know if I'm the only one that's going to be making that um, comparison. But that's pretty cool to me. We also got his alias or username in the VR space. And that is the Playmaker. Now, this obviously has some uh, special meaning behind it. And I wonder if this is going to be a plot point for the show. Is to work out what it means. Or maybe people will be tracking down the Playmaker in real life, stuff like that. I'd like to see them have consequences in the real world rather than just in the VR world. So maybe something happens in the VR world and their lives in the real world is affected because I think that'd be a nice take they could uh, go with for the show. Additionally, we also got more details about Yusaku Fujiki. His bio now states, cool-headed and extremely clever. His real skill is in his hacking and cracking abilities. As well, he's good at reading people and things on his feet. So the reading people and the thinking on your feet thing are two very good properties to have as a duelist, which I think a lot of the duelists have had. Uh, maybe not Yuma, but especially Yugi, Yusei, and Jaden, and to a degree Yu as well, all had that. But the uh, real thing that got me here is the hacking and cracking abilities. We haven't had a protagonist that has been so technically minded since Yusei Fudo in Arc, not in Arc Five, in Five D, sorry. But he was technically minded in the terms of uh, D-Wheels. This guy seems to be more technically minded with computers and with software, which is really interesting coming from a computer science or web technologies um, student who's studying at university. So this, this has immediately piqued my interest for the series up to like way higher than it was originally. One thing I also want to point out is Yusaku's neck in this image is extremely long. I don't think we've had a Yu-Gi-Oh character with a neck this long as the main protagonist that is. So you know, I can already see the memes coming or the comparisons coming of the, uh, you know, to a giraffe or to, you know, the uh, the Pokemon Sun and Moon characters. I can't remember which one it is. Had the really, really tall neck. And finally, I have a new running time and day for the show. Arc 5 currently runs on Sundays, I believe. I believe it's an early Sunday morning. Or maybe it's Saturday night in Japan. I'm not too sure. Uh, but now the show is going to be running on Wednesday, the 6.25 a.m. Japanese Standard Time, which I believe is around 9.30 p.m. if you're in the UK on the Tuesday. Don't know what it is in uh, in North America or other regions, but I think it's now going up against Pokemon Sun and Moon in Japan, which is going to be really cool to see how well the show does, especially because Arc 5 has been so poorly received over there. So I wonder if this show can really bring back the spark that you had back in, you know, 5Ds and GX and Dawn Monster specifically. But that is it for today's Yugo Reigns video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that recap. I'll leave a link in the description to the Yugo organization page where you can see these images and you can see this text in more detail. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. See you then.